Hey everyone, it's Wes from the Adventure Family. Get ready to get off on Scirocco Summit. Head out to the Red Cloud Mine and maybe the Eagle Mine train trestle. See what we can find on this trip. See you out there. Okay, we're getting off. Just pulled over to the Red Canyon Trail. See, this is gonna take us where we wanna go. Hello everybody, all right. So this is where we are up here. Hoping to make my way down Red Canyon Trail to the Bradshaw Trail, down over to the railroad trestle, and then back over here to the Red Cloud Road, maybe into the Red Cloud Mine. We'll see how it goes. I don't know if you can see it, pretty cool. You got uh, three little hills out there, and you got three uh, vehicles sitting on top of them. Not quite sure what they got going on, but looks cool all the same. Like when that camera sees nothing but sky. See out there that's the chocolate mountains it's a bombing range so we can't uh, can't cross over and as we uh, move to the south west here you'll be able to see the Salton Sea so this is what's called the Bradshaw Trail. I'm gonna take this down to the uh, railroad trussel. OK, 
Okay, this is the Eagle Mine, Eagle Mountain Mine Railroad Trussel. This was built in the 1940s, was used into the 1980s, part of the Kaiser Steel plant. Pretty cool. Okay, as I said before, to the east is the Chocolate Mountain bombing range. As you see by this sign here, uh, they certainly don't want, want us to go there. And I'm wondering if that little fenced in area is uh, an unexploded ordinance. I'm certainly not going to go in there and find out it is almost five o'clock time to start looking for a place to camp just left the Eagle Mountain Mine Railroad trestle now I'm on what's called the Bradshaw Trail or the Gold Road this was originally developed in the 1860s as a overland pass between here and the New Mexico Territory, now known as Arizona. Imagine coming through here on a horse or on a covered wagon. So this got washed out. Kind of cool. I'm actually now driving on the old Eagle Mountain Mine Railway. Obviously they've removed the rails and the railroad ties, but pretty, pretty cool. For 40 years this kit carried ore from the Eagle Mountain Mine to the Kaiser Steel Plant in Fontana. Five forty, and it's getting dark quick. Hoping to find some place to camp up here in Red Clown, Red Cloud Mine Road. By the time I made it to camp, the sun had already set, but I was able to quickly get everything set up, start a fire, and get dinner going. It's 
little breezy out here, so I'm not sure how this sounds, but just getting ready to make some dinner. Got some squash in here, some sausages, breezy sausages in there with a little, uh, some noodles, boiling those up, and uh, some sauce. Gonna put it all together. We'll see how it goes. All right. There's the finished product. Looking pretty good. Ready to go with it. Beautiful fire. Good morning, everybody. I wasn't able to show you breakfast, but you can see out there, it is windier than heck, um, but beautiful out here. Nice and sunny, 48 degrees right now, finishing up my coffee. Get up, uh, check out some, uh, some mines up ahead. I've reached the first sign of some ruins here. Got it. it looks like an old car. See if there's a mine around here somewhere. Made it to what they call the old mill site. Pretty neat. Quite a bit of uh, activity occurred out here at one time. I think this might be the founders of this mine, their home up here. Not sure. We'll go up and uh, take a look. Coming up on what they refer to as the cyanide tanks. You can see them up there to the right get out and take a look. It's really windy out here, but give this a shot. So these are the cyanide tanks. You can see cyanide poison, not a good thing. Glad we don't do this kind of stuff anymore. As you can see, they would just let the cyanide just drain right on out into the riverbed. Right on into the riverbed. Another cistern or tank. I don't know if this is where they put the stored the water. Take it up there.
not quite sure about the gate here in the middle of nowhere, but uh, the gate to nowhere, that road is long washed out. Thanks for joining me on this quick trip. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe. It's hard to believe I've never been out here before, but this is definitely an area I will return. See you on the next one.